Hey guys, I am <clears throat> coming at you with a business themed, kind of business themed video today. It is, why hasn't US Cellular died already? Now if you don't know what US Cellular is, it is uh, the United States' fifth largest wireless provider. Uh, they have been bleeding subscribers for 15 straight quarters now. Uh, they just got the iPhone and they're the whole company pretty much went to pot further after they got it because uh, they had to go and re-update their network and they decided to redo their building system at the same time and just completely and utterly destroyed their system so uh, hundreds of thousands of people have left US Cellular over the last couple months and uh, T-Mobile and Sprint uh, employees have been saying that their companies are working to buy U.S. Cellular. Uh, T-Mobile would make sense because uh, T-Mobile's coverage is kind of weak in that area, and U.S. Cellular's LTE spectrum nicely complements theirs, so they could have two kinds of spectrum running side by side, and then U.S. Cellular customers might even be able to slightly sometimes use their same phones but more than likely not <clears throat> uh, I actually emailed Kenneth Myers the CEO of US Cellular and he said that he couldn't answer whether or not they would be selling so he's not saying that they are but he's not saying that they aren't either I'm personally hoping for T-Mobile to come in because T-Mobile is just the best. T-Mobile makes everything awesome sauce. And uh, I am still rocking this three-year-old HTC, which you've seen in one of my videos before. The USB port doesn't work, so I have to charge the batteries in this thingy. And uh, that doesn't really relate to US Cellular, except that my phone is on US Cellular. So. If you somehow didn't hear, uh, two years ago, they sold their assets in St. Louis, Chicago, Midwestern Illinois, and a few other markets to Sprint, because Sprint wanted to roll out some LTE in our area. They sold their uh, assets in the Mississippi Valley to T-Mobile, and they sold further assets in the St. Louis area to Verizon, all in the span of about nine months. So they're just being picked apart, little by little, and uh, they're a prime target for anyone to buy, because they're a small little carrier, they're not worth very much, they're in decline, and they have lots of spectrum left over. And uh, additionally, uh, companies tend to go on like a self-destruct spree before they sell, so US Cellular might be doing that when they got rid of the Belief Project and all that. So I'm really hoping that uh, something happens quite soon. Uh, just get them out of the way because I'm not a huge fan of them. But I know a lot of people are, but they're. But US Cellular, they just take they say we're gonna charge twenty dollars less than Verizon and AT&T and we're going to have less than a fifth of the coverage and half the devices yeah customers are gonna come sniffing around us and our deals really really quick so a combination of going on a self-destruct spree bad business deals selling previous markets and Sprint's employees and Sprint's employees, T-Mobile's employees and Kenneth Myers himself all seem to agree that US Cellular is coming to an end and their stock price it was uh it's gone down from forty dollars down to uh thirty, twenty and thirty the last couple of weeks which uh 
tends to happen near the end of a company's life. So, uh, if you have any thoughts on this, put them in the comments below, and I shall see you guys on the morrow, or in a couple weeks or something, I don't know. Bye.